Hi, I am Karan and welcome to Karan's Gyan. Today I'll be talking about Shiram Transport Finance's rights issue. And I would answer two of your main questions. If you are a shareholder of Shiram Transport Finance and you have got rights credited in your DMAT account, the question you would be wondering is, should you sell these rights or should you subscribe to these rights? On the other hand, people who are not shareholders of Shiram Transport Finance they are wondering should they buy the rights of Shiram Transport Finance if they don't have any shareholding and if they buy what price at which they should buy the right holdings. Now I would uh, answer both these questions in detail so guys stay tuned. Now the first question for all the for the all the shareholders of Shiram Transport Finance who have got their rights credited in your DMAT account. Now you got a debate between whether to subscribe the rights or whether to sell the rights. Well, I'm here. I would answer your query. Now, how would you compare uh, the two? You got to compare the net price of share in both the cases. Now, in the first case, if you subscribe the rights, so what would be the net price of each share in that case? Well, you would find out by calculating the value of your holdings and uh, amount you pay for subscription divided by total number of shares where the total number of shares are current holdings plus rights subscribed and if you sell the rights what will the net price per share it will be uh, the value of your current holdings plus you've got the proceeds from the sale of rights divided by total shares and the total shares here are current holdings now i'll show you the example so as you know the rights ratio is 3 is to 26 let me assume you've got 26 shares and you've got three right entitlements. Uh, the issue price here is 570 rupees as said in the circular and the trading period is between 6th of 16th of July to 30th July. Uh, I have taken the closing price of 16th of July. So this may change in the future and this will change the future. So in the if in the future you're watching this video, uh, take these things into consideration and calculate NPS or net price per share again to finalize your decision now let us look at case by case for example first case you subscribe the rights now uh, i would show you the price of stfc shiram transport finance and its right entitlement so we can we'll go to money control website in money control website we see shiram transport finances re so this is how it goes shiram transport finance re re stands for right entitlement so Shiram Transport Finance's right entitlements are being sold on NSC for about 97 rupees 30 paisa. Alright, I have mentioned it here. And uh, the price of Shiram Transport Finance right now is... Yeah, so you see Shiram Transport Finance Corporation, it's trading at 674 rupees at NSC. So 674 rupees at NSC. Now let us look at this. Okay. So, uh, for example, you subscribe to the rights. Since you already have rights in your DMAT account, you can be, you have to pay five seventy rupees for three share, three right entitlements you have to subscribe them, and the value of the twenty six shares that you already are holding at six seventy four rupees. You add them up, you add both these values, and it'll come up to nineteen thousand two hundred thirty four rupees. Now total shares you've got are 29 rupees 26 plus 3 shares that you have subscribed. Hence you divide both these figures. You divide 19,234 rupees by 29 shares that you will ha finally have and it comes up to 663 rupees and 24 paisa per share. Now we look at uh, the second case in which we sell the rights. So second case we are selling the rice. So now I told you the price of Shiram Transport's rights are being traded at 97 rupees 30 paisa. I'll show you again. This is what what is the price? 97 rupees 30 paisa Shiram Transport Finance RE rights entitlement. And uh, we'll basically are selling these rights. So when you are selling the rights, we'll sell it at the market price. But when we are subscribing the rights. We are subscribing the rights based on the circular issued by Shiram Transport Finance. So we are subscribing at 570 and we are selling the rights at 97 rupees. Again, the value is the same of your holdings. You got 26 shares at the rate 674 rupees. 
the total price is 17524 rupees that is the value of your holding now you sell your three right entitlements you will get proceeds worth 291 rupees and 90 paisa you subscribe you subtract uh, the proceeds you have got from the value of the holdings so you basically have about uh, you know 17232 rupees worth of holdings because your cash proceeds are sub sub uh, have been subtracted from the holding of shiram transport finance because consider this as a dividend consider you've got a dividend of 97 rupees or a total dividend of 291 rupees so basically your average price per share would have decreased and will divide by 26 shares because unlike in the previous scenario where you subscribe the three shares you have not subscribed the three shares you have sold the right entitlements and then hence your net price would be 662 rupees and 77 paisa I won't say there is much difference. I would say there is about a 50 paisa difference or yeah, a 47 paisa difference to be exact. So basically 47 paisa per share is your profit in this case. So it will be better to sell the rights as of now. But in the future, these equations might change. Now, talking about the second question, should you buy Shiram Transport Finance's rights if you don't have any shareholding? So in this case, you got to compare two things. You got to compare the impact price post rights and you got to compare the impact price post rights to this figure, which is current STFC right script value to the subscription amount to the amount you'll be paying. So what happens when you buy STFC? If you don't have any shareholding, if you want to buy STFC in the rights if you want to subscribe STFC right and you don't have any shareholding. So you would basically have to buy STFC right. For 97 rupees 30 paisa and then you'll have to pay 570 rupees over it to subscribe it so you gotta you gotta compare if it'll be better to buy shiram transport finance after the rights issues over or if it is better to buy shiram transport finances right rights uh, shiram transport finance through rights issue right now understand again is it better to buy is it cheaper to buy one share of shiram transport finance after the rights issues or after the price correction post rights issue or is it better to subscribe to the rights entitlement by buying the rights entitlement from the market now just so that you know the impact price post rights entitlement would be 663 rupees so post entitled post rights the price of STFC would be corrected from 674 rupees to 663 rupees. Okay, so this would be the price one month from now. Okay, uh, for example, this STFC price would be changing. It, it depends on the last trading day, which is 30th July would decide what is the final price of rights and using this equation, they'll find uh, the, the X rights price. So I'm just taking 674 as an example today. So impact price would be 663 rupees and 24 paisa so this should be the impact price after the right subscribe subscription is over whereas if you buy rights right now the right price of each shiram transport finances right entitlement is 97 rupees 30 paisa then the subscription price is rupees 570 which you would have to pay over the rights you have bought from the market and hence this value comes up to 667 rupees which is about 4 rupees more than the impact price. So based on the current numbers, I would say it's better to buy Shiram Transport Finance after the right entitlements are done. Uh, otherwise, you can use this formula again. And if you feel the impact price is, <coughs> you know, more than the sum given below, it would be better for you to, you know, purchase the rights and then subscribe to the right so it is all a game of maths it is all a game of how the numbers are changing and when should you buy and when you should sell so keep these formulas into mind again uh, compare subs subs uh, the if you want to sell or subscribe rights compare net price per share if you subscribe to the rights and compare net price per share if you want to sell the rights however if you don't have any shareholding compare the impact of shiram transports price after the right entitlement is over all right and compare this amount to the current price of stfc script to the subscription amount the subscription amount in this case is 570 and the script value keeps changing so you got to compare these and you can decisively or mathematically say 
whether your action is right or wrong so guys this is pretty much it about shiram transport finances rights and i hope you like my video thank you very much have a nice day